Hello, I'm John Sharp. I'm principal cello of the Chicago Symphony Orchestra, and I'm really happy to be here uh, with this class in Riga uh, today. I'm looking forward to hearing uh, cellists play and to working with you. Uh, of course, we're, I and my colleagues are disappointed not to be coming to Riga this fall. The orchestra was supposed to come on tour, and uh, unfortunately, as we all know, the pandemic happened. And uh, so, um, sorry not to see it. I understand it's a beautiful city. I'm sure it's very interesting. And uh, I feel a, a certain kinship with that part of the world. Uh, I'll I tell you why. Uh, my first cello teacher, who was sort of my main cello teacher back in Texas, was from Riga and uh, grew up there. And uh, so I grew up hearing, well, some stories about Riga and about Europe. And uh, he, every summer, he would travel back to Europe for a month or two. Who knows knows what he was doing, but you know he would vanish from from the United States. And one summer, when I was about uh, seventeen, he took. He was an older man; he was sixty years old by then. And he took a group of eight young cellists, about seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, uh, to Europe. You know, sort of a, a grand tour. We we flew to Luxembourg and rented a Volkswagen bus and drove through. Salzburg and made our way to uh, uh, Dubrovnik in the former Yugoslavia and spent several weeks there and came back through Italy. We saw Venice and Florence and places like that. And uh, I mean, that might not sound remarkable to, to you uh, living there, but for a, a, a young man from a, a smaller place in Texas, this was life changing to just, even though I didn't really understand all that I was seeing, uh, it made you so much more aware uh, of the world and of uh, you know, the reality of these places and particularly as it relates, relates to classical music. You've probably heard that Americans don't often get across the, uh, the ocean, <laughs> you know. So it, it, was a, it was really incredible experience for me. It's something I always, uh, remember uh, very, very well. He was a very uh, uh, special teacher, very passionate about music. He was principal cellist of a, an orchestra here in the United States uh, for quite a while. And uh, also my wife uh, of many years is from Lithuania, your, your neighbor. So I have all sorts of connections. I, I guess I should feel at home, at home now, basically. <laughs> but I hope one day to see Riga to, to actually get there. I hope the orchestra will come and come again sometime. So uh, with that, I believe uh, Klaus, I've met Klaus already. And uh, you're going to play uh, Bach, uh, the C major suite and Dvorak concerto. Is that, is that right? Yeah, that's absolutely correct. Great. What, what, what will you start with? Let's solve it Bach. Okay. Great. Okay. Thank you. 
Excellent. That was ve ve very fine. Very fine. Oh, I'm um, glad you liked it. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you, um, you, you, you have a real concept uh, of this piece. Um, you've obviously thought uh, deeply about it. I think. I mean, it's uh, not the first time I'm playing this piece. <laughs> yes, well, you play it with a lot of conviction, uh, and uh, it was it was interesting. It was thoughtful. It was well shaped. I mean, that was a very uh, polished and and good performance. Uh, I would I would be happy to hear that. Uh, you know, at a at a concert. Um, you know. Uh, Interesting thing about Bach, uh, you know, it can be played in so many ways, right? We all know there's how many editions, 50 or 75 yeah. editions of Bach, and every, everyone has the secret. So, you know, I have my secret too. <laughs> uh, you know, but the, the thing that's genius about the music is that it can stand all these very different approaches. Uh, it's, it's so uh, great. That it 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 will it will take all kinds of interesting uh, uh, you know different approaches with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so um, you know what you do is quite different from from maybe what I envisioned for my for myself. But I I I, I uh, enjoyed it very much. You know, I do, I don't always. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as as we know, um, but we could talk about a few things. Um, maybe um, one thing that strikes me. I don't think you have a a, a a philosophical opposition to using vibrato in Bach because I saw it a couple of times. Unless that was a mistake. <laughs> so, um, well, I'm, try I'm trying to use it as little as possible, but. I see. Yeah. It, it has uh, okay. to be in a way. R r right. Well, I, you know, I can't really go there. I know there's all kinds of period instrument uh, approach, and, uh, you know, that's for a different discussion. I, you, you know, of course, uh, one can choose to do that. Uh, you know, one can argue against it and say, we're not playing Baroque cellos, we're playing modern instruments. It's the 21st century. We have vibrato. We have a great, you know. We, you know, you can make the argument, which, you know, for me, I, uh, uh, I suppose the kind of uh, whatever that's that's probably the approach I take is, uh, uh, you know, what a period instrument person would say is romanticized and completely wrong. But you know, I think there is no wrong and right. You know, we're we're far from it. We don't know exactly how they played. Uh, uh, our instruments are different, our times are different. And I think really the only valid thing is musical. Does it make sense? Does it make musical? Is it, is it worth, you know, anything can be. And I don't think there are um, secrets. You know, I even I spent time myself sort of revisiting box suites and thinking, well, try to change the Boeings, you know, to reflect more the Anna Magdalena copy, you know, these things. And, you know, which, which is interesting. Uh, I tried and tried, but um, after quite a while, I decided, you know, it, it, in a certain way, it doesn't feel like it ma necessarily matters all that much. It's what you, it's the response to the music that is there uh, that's really important. And this, that's why I think your performance was good, because it, it, it had a lot of, it was really showing a lot of things about that. Um, so regarding uh, the Bracha, I guess it struck me a, a few times that uh, it might be welcome uh, a little earlier in the piece. I, I, I don't recall noticing it until sometime later. But uh, uh, I mean, that certainly, you know, I know that can be part of your conception not to do it. But, uh, you know, perhaps. You know, I... It's a, a, you know, this, this whole suite and this prelude, you know, every suite has its kind of uh, feel, doesn't it? You know, I always think of this suite as, um, 
well, you know, it's funny to start putting words, but just to try to say something, um, you know, strong, maybe athletic or even heroic or, you know, maybe more grand or something, you know, as opposed to maybe the G major suite, you know, which is much more gentle, I, I think, and just sort of beautiful. And this seems a little more like, like that to me. You know, just, way, yeah. it's, it's, yeah. it's bold, isn't it? Yeah. You know, that opening statement is like a motto. This is what I have to say. And, the, you know, that comes back at the end, you know, and, you know, nine bars later. Um, I, you know, I, uh, one could consider, you know, the conception. You might put consider making a little bit more of that in your interpretation of, a, of, a, of, of this sort of strength. I noticed the end part, you know, that's a very long and drawn out ending, right? You know, uh, and, um, you know, it, it was interesting what you did. You, you downplayed it compared to what yeah. I was used to. I always felt like it's, you know, it's, of course you have to shape it, but it's, it's, he's emphasizing, he's emphasizing, he's, uh, you know, and no, that's not the end. There's more, you know, and then, you know, it just goes on and on. And perhaps, perhaps you might uh, bring that out, uh, you know, as, a, as an alternative. Yeah. So that would be from, um, uh, let's see. Oh, sorry, I have music here. I can look at it. <laughs> don't, I don't need to remember. Yes. Yeah, we can compile ah. a poem on this. Yes, yes. Um, right, so going into bar 77, um, I think you yeah. came down, right? Which was, you, you know, I, I, I don't, I liked it. I liked it. But, um, you know, one could take it as, it's, you, you know, increasing the intensity and playing up this, this sort yeah. of, Power part. So, by young, there's the opening again, you know. Right? Maybe that's. And then he hits C major, but then goes immediately back to the dominant, not finished still, right? So, I mean, it just seems like it's like that in my mind, you know. It's just, it just, it's almost over the top. You know, I, I don't really mean that. But um, that's what struck me as you played. I thought, well, that could be a, a bit more, you know, forceful or dramatic. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. You know, I mean, uh, one thing to think. Um, I would say uh, when you get to bar 45, uh, the you know these bariolages, the broken chords. Um, you know that's you. You came strong, and that was the, uh, it was good. One can uh, come down a notch and let it develop, let that whole section develop, which yeah. is also you know interesting. You can when when one starts so uh, you know hot, so strong. Uh, there's less of a less development uh, possible but i think those those sequences uh that you go through you know every two bars you know moving down in the thumb um you know that could be more and then you get to c major you know and it's a, sort of an arrival and then the c minor maybe is less um you know, you know these are just ideas um One thing uh, you might you might think about, um, I feel it often in people, but I, your, yours was was convincing. But you, you you I think you you show things in the music with with time, with uh, uh, you know breaking phase fra not breaking phrases, but uh, taking you take a lot a, a good amount of time to show. Uh, Is it too much? Well, I just think sometimes these preludes, to my mind, uh, you know, uh, there can get to be a, a wonderful, uh, uh, um, uh, it, not, inertia is not the word I mean, but momentum. Yeah. 
that comes from almost being a moto perpetuo. Of course, there are moments that you that you stop, but that you don't you don't let it you don't let it uh, you know stop. Da, da 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 da. You it's it's going. At, but one still points out exactly. I think what you did, but you do it more with sound and with phrasing and color. But that there's always this sense. It's it's sort of. Uh, uh, going. Do, do you know what I'm? Yeah. yeah what yeah. I'm getting at? Yeah. Um, so it's, it's like um, cutting, you're cutting off phrase, phrase endings. Bit, yes. The, there's a danger of yeah. chopping it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too much. You know. Um, you know. Maybe that's a good. Uh, so I don't talk all the time, but uh, maybe for 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 fun. You know. Or, well, for to try. Maybe start the opening again and think of. Um, Think more about the continuity okay. uh, between larger uh, sections and maybe breaking them up more, maybe within a given uh, sequence. Just to see what see what comes out. Yes, <laughs> twice, twice. Yeah. Ex excellent, and uh, uh, bravo, good. You, I, you, you, um, 
Well, good for you. I mean, you cha you were able you change things. You're not stuck in your in your your original. I forgot idea. to vibrate again <laughs> in the beginning. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, yeah. No, I, it's very it's very good. Um, as you played it the second time, a couple of small things that maybe yeah. uh, could help. Just three from the end. When you have the trill, I think that could be a moment of sort of maybe maximum tension. You know, not not. I mean, to hold it out. Uh, in its full value, you know, de da 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 de ya da ti. You know, feel the resolution coming mm -hmm. in a in a forceful way. It felt like you, you know it didn't quite hold it as long as oh, okay. you, you could have. Um, and then after you know the long burialage passage, and you come to sixty one. Um, yeah. To to my mind that. When when one arrives there, it, it's almost like a it can be a moment of sort of a release, and that's a place where you you might experiment with not not setting first notes. Uh, you play ba di da 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 di da di da ti da 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 da. You know, and ti setting. I could imagine that as a a sort of uh, it's it's sort of winding down, but it's it's moving like rather than stopping and you know smelling the roses. Uh, uh, making a difference between the legato that's very yeah. singing and then this and it's sort of this is a spot. It's going. It's going. You know, and it changes. Subtly, right? You know, just one note, and you're you're playing down on the C and the G string. Mm -hmm. It's sort of an interesting effect, isn't it? Sort of mumbling, grumbling down there. Yeah. <laughs> and and one can come down, down, down. It seems to me, and it seems like when you reach seventy one, that you should be at a low point. There should be a general yeah. diminuendo that I, I didn't really sense that, but that would give you then. Yeah. More room to build. Yeah, it's it's in, um, in my mind. Maybe I didn't perform it as well as I oh, oh, yeah. I thought that could yeah. that could come that could come down uh, oh, yeah. and, and and not to fight the effect. You know, we try to get a sound out on the C and G string. Uh, you know, but just that's also uh, a kind of effect. You know, uh, uh, that I don't think Bach would be necessarily against. You know, he was. He sounds like a pretty, pretty wild guy in a way, <laughs> if in you know way, what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> he was a very, he was a very passionate human being, right? And and uh, and the music is well. I mean, I don't need to tell you, but uh, uh, you know, it's complex, as they say. The Baroque was, and it's related to Romantic music, like I think more than classical music. You know, it's it's it, it's quite. Uh, uh, the expression is really, uh, you know, right there. The 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 older I get, that's what <laughs> that's how it seems to me. Is that it's it's uh, there's so much happening there. It's very you know. I used when I was younger, I thought, oh, I don't really understand that. And as I got older, I thought, yes, he's he's changing all these things. So many things that we really have to respond to, uh, and you know, these sort of. Unusual colors, and you know that's strange. So low and you know extended passage, sort of an effect. It seems like. Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, that was really excellent. Uh, shall we? Shall, would you? Would you play the sarban? Yeah.
Bravo. Really, Thanks. really excellent. I mean, it's just that I, I like uh, very much the way you the way you play it, the way you interpret it, you know, the way you shape it, and what you respond to in the music. I think it's really, really good. Um, I have a question. Um, do you do you study particularly period instrument? I don't know what kind of programs you have no. <laughs> in school. You, it's just things you you. Yeah, um, actually, this is my diploma exam repertoire. Uh huh. Uh huh. I need so to you, you don't have a, a particular training in, in period in instrument period instruments or, no. or a teacher that I, I haven't had any training. Sounds very convincing. I guess. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I need to change my strings to gut strings. Maybe uh, another instrument and a bow. Yeah, you're right. And right, I'm ready right, to right. go. Every, you're ready to go. Yes. Yes. Um. Uh, only thing I would say uh, to you to keep in mind, um, you know, we're on Zoom now, you have uh, microphones, you know, catches everything you do on the cello. Sometimes it, it, it was lovely, the colors, and that you went down in dynamic uh, in an actual hall. I, I wondered, uh, sometimes I thought the, the connection of the bow to the string might not be enough to be projected. And maybe you're, you know, we, we play, you know, we're on Zoom, we play, you know, sounding fine. I heard uh, you, everything. You're right, yeah. But, uh, but I had the feeling you were- That's a of concern of mine as well, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I thought, um, I, I'll show you, can you still hear me? Yeah. Okay. Um, Just that you're trying not to break cello, break computer. Um, um, you know, when you come to... You know, maybe uh, sometimes it seemed like you were actually over the fingerboard. I was. And I thought, <laughs> maybe not quite so much. And to make sure there's a, always... A good, a good quality connection of the bow yeah. to the strings. Uh, you know, I, I think one way to think about that is uh, even when we play softly, that you you still have a given amount of weight. Yeah. Even though it's only three grams or something small like that, you know, but it's absolutely in the string, and you're still you're still pulling sound out. You know, you're not just sort of skating skating on top of the string. I think that's a good way to think about it mm -hmm. and maintain maintain the quality of sound. I think you can still get the um, color that that you're after. Um, but especially for a larger space and no microphone and no zoom and stuff like that, that probably is a, a good thing to think about. So, um, besides that, I think I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't do anything to your Sarabande. I, I really liked it. How, how about some Dvorja?
Maybe we work on this much? Yeah. Okay. It's Sorry just... about the intonation. <laughs> it's weird uh, it, not hearing it's... oneself in one ear. <laughs> Oh, oh, maybe when you perform, you can take it out, but, well, you know. I didn't think of that. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't either. Oh, uh, yeah, well, I can imagine. Okay, yes, I've tried to do it myself. Yeah, well, that's the main problem. Well, one of the main problems when we play the cello, isn't it? The intonation, right? Okay, excellent. Uh, 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 very good. Um, so... Really good sex tuplets. <laughs> that was very, it was really very clear, very good, very in tune. Um, so it strikes me as you play this, um, you know, two related things to keep in mind. Um, I think uh, you you have you have more trouble in uh, sustaining. Tone, I think, on sustained things. Even the opening, right? Um, second theme, um, and along with that, I think a slight tendency to use a bit too much pressure in the bow. And you know, that, as far as I can tell, that's classic uh, for people who are learning the Dvorak Concerto, or yeah, <laughs> maybe not learning, maybe <laughs> played a very long time. It's such an incredible piece. Intense piece, beautiful. We all have heard performances probably that, you know, just uh, moved us. You know, for me, it was Rostropovich. It was just such an incredible thing to see it play it live. You just, you couldn't believe, you know, you couldn't believe it. And, and we tried to basically kill the world from the beginning, <laughs> you know. And it's very dangerous because we overplay. I think, I think now that's... Prob that's where you could you could probably improve a lot is if you backed backed off five percent, you know, yeah. and say, okay, I'm not going to give hundred percent. I'm going to give ninety four point seven percent. You know, just uh, maintain a little reserve, maintain a, a you know more strict judgment. Is the sound pure? Is it, am I pressing? It, you know, to, to not otherwise we squash we squash the sound. We get obviously less than we. We th we we're, we're working hard. We feel like we're doing well, but we're we're killing it a little bit. So, um, uh, how about um, just to pick a spot, um, sort of random? Uh, this is in the development. Ya da 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 di, ya da 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 da, ya da 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 da. Right. That yeah. was a place where um, it, I don't know if you can understand my singing. Did that did that make sense? Yeah. Yes, yes, so think of that a little more, you know, I think in spite of Dvorak writing Sforzando accent, uh, uh, you know, he writes so many sort of things that look like this is a hugely percussive piece, and I don't think it is, it's a very singing piece, very lyrical, you know, and this is a spot also, I think... Uh, to to sustain the quarter note a little better, ya da 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 di, ya da 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 di, ya da 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 da. You know, to sing sing through that a little bit. That was a spot I felt that the tone didn't quite come through. You know, you didn't quite have a balance. You, you know, the bow, yeah, yeah, yeah. good good sounding part. Would you try that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> now that, uh, yeah, it's right in the middle of things, isn't it? Yeah. You know, can I suggest something, Klaus? I, I know, I'm sorry, I, I picked a, 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 a tongue twister of a spot. But uh, pay less attention to the 16th. Let them just come off. Yabba da ba di, and go go for the go for the quarter. Yabba da ba di, yabba da ba di. Very good. Um, I think um, you could uh. Your vibrato seems to start a little bit 
uh, late. Uh, uh, I think you want an articulation on the on the quarter note. Uh, what I hear is a little, uh, you know, sort of a easing into, and uh, but this is a um, fairly rhythmic music. You know, that I think you, you want that to sound a little more rhythmic. Could you I'll try to try to uh so Sixteenths are really rhythmic. Now there's a little. Da -ba -da -ba -da, da -ba -da -ba. It doesn't feel. Yeah. Da -ba -da -ba. It doesn't feel straightforward. to the one that goes on leave yourself a little space so you can uh, crescendo a little bit yeah. and then blossom on the E a bit a bit more you know catch catch the E beautifully with the bow how about uh, right there good good Excellent. Um, now, uh, uh, how about continue from there with the okay. same idea, you know, uh, just, uh, you know, not to press, just good, well-produced tone. Yeah. Stop you. Sorry to stop yeah. you in the middle, but uh, think how that goes in the orchestra. Um, the bar before you come in, the horns play. So you might play a little rubato, but I think you can't do as much as what you're doing now. Okay. <laughs> you know, you're playing as if it's by itself, but it's it's not. You have to. Yeah, and and the good the good part is ya da dee da dee da da, you know. Good, good. Um, I would suggest. You know, he writes a crescendo on the whole bar, but a bit to to that top A. And then, uh, for my money, when you get to uh, uh, the uh, sforzando notes are a little harsh sounding. Yeah, I think they're a little, you know. Um, my teacher from Latvia, <laughs> he would always say, cellist, they play the divorce concerto, the da 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 da, clench, 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 you know, the, the chords. He, he you know, he, so uh, same sort of thing. I think you can get a better tone, uh, just better produced, not with not too much scratch, a little vibrato. Yeah. So, so it doesn't become, you know, yeah, yeah. because I, I don't think that's the character of the music. It's, it's singing, it, it, essentially, it seems to me. Yeah. Would you, would you try? Yeah. Huh? Yes. I, I would play it a little more, uh, perhaps straightforward, 
not too much rubato. Uh, 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 I'm trying to vibrate the C. That's why I'm doing uh, I, I see. I see. Yeah. Well, you know, a, a little bit. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Essentially, you know, um, this whole section is moving forward. You know, we've had a ya da 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 di da 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 da, and then a yum ba da 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 tum. You know, da ba di ba di. It's it's driving. It's always driving a little bit. And now a ya da di da ya da da di da ya da di da 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 di da 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 bi da 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 da. You know, I think that's a sing. It's a singing tone we want, but I don't think we want to monkey around with it rhythmically speaking too much. You know what I mean? Because essentially. He's he's heading he's heading somewhere, yeah. <laughs> you, you know. But what, what you do want smart. So I think I'm, I might have overstated my case. I might not have said it clearly. But I think you should articulate. Just make sure the sound doesn't scratch. So you might make sure the bow is really, you know, articulate. So you just have really good, you know, yeah. full quality tone. Sorry. Bravo! Excellent. Now let's let's go back to the opening. Yeah. Um, so the the same idea, um, I would say uh, it, it seemed like you delayed your vibrato a bit, sort of a, and then it would it would come, or maybe it was on the second note. Uh, I would I would think um, that needs a little bit more of a uh, I don't know how to put it without overstating it, but profile, maybe a rhythmic profile, you know. In the, to, you know the, the cellos play uh, pizzicato on the be da da da. So that implies a certain strictness of the rhythm. Uh, yeah. bum, 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 right? Um, you want to try that? And the, the, yeah. the ninety-five percent rule, I think, is very applicable here. <laughs> to um, uh, maybe shy away from a, a, a uh, attack, you know, bah, with, a, with a consonant. Maybe you, maybe this is a good place for it. Um, you know, it, I think we're, we're looking, when this entrance comes, we're looking for a certain intensity, you know, a certain statement, forcefulness. And I think we, part of that comes from the articulation. From a, from a a, a real uh, uh, you know that's part of what makes it sound strong. So you you know I think we 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 catch that note and then we we go back yeah. a touch right you know and then we sustain it about rather than. You know, trying to trying to do it all the time, right? Yeah. But that gives a an impression of, I think, strength power. I'm trying to be and trying to get a a nice, you know, a consonant at the beginning. So. Else may I may I, <laughs> may I suggest? Um, so you now you're getting you're getting yeah, a little right. scratch, right? Yeah. So what's happening? It means the pressure is too much for the speed of the bow. So you can do two things. Yes. You quicker can decrease bow. the pressure. I'm sorry. Just quicker bow. Or a quicker bow, right? Or a little bit of both. 
Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I know some cellos react differently to how they're set up, whatever. But, uh, uh, you know, I think now, yeah, you got to use a little, a little more bow, a little less pressure, maybe something in the sounding point. I'm not sure. Accept that in a singer, I don't think. <laughs> you, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I, I, we don't want to go into a, a man, mannerism, but uh, enough said. Now, when you get to, here's another place I think you, have, you can think about the articulation is uh, so again, you've got to, I think, grab the string a little more. Uh, make those uh, sixteenths clear yeah. and you know pop out I think it's just what you're what you're doing with the bow you're not quite used to catching it uh Has a little too much pressure. It it feels Still, yeah. on the striding <laughs> on the striding side. You need to round it out mm -hmm. a little bit less pressure, more more bow. You right? Yeah. You know your cello may be bright, but it, it comes out a little too too uh, too bright. Too aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. basically uh, catch them in one stroke, not break, really. Uh, so, uh, you know, use enough pressure that you, yeah. you catch all three and then just hold the top two. Because I think what we want to hear is, yeah. there I go about the melody again, but right the... It's a, it's a motive in the piece. So I think we want to hear... You know, we want to hear that top note melodically a little bit. And a bit of a bit of vibrato, if at all, you know, it really, really helps. <laughs> we, go, we go for the whole thing, right? <laughs> How about... Uh, so what we're getting, going for is articulation, but not too much pressure afterward. Yeah. You can even see, I don't know, I'm giving you a view there. Uh, the bow moves. At the beginning, moves faster. Yeah. Right? That second yum ba dum ba dum sound very good, excellent. I think that's a good direction to go. Yeah. You know, articulate but not harsh. Make it a round. Go for the it's round. It's a known problem of mine. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, I play yeah. too much with um, hard. Well, no, vertical pressure. On the I see. Yeah. It's, it's e easy, easy to do. Little, you know, like, making sure you have. I mean, your 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 position looks excellent. You know, your playing position. But make sure you have some flexibility yeah. in your fingers that, that can help and that you're drawing drawing the sound. You know, always drawing drawing the sound, I think is good. 
Um, I didn't know if I have to stop. I just see the clock. Uh, is anybody waving madly there? I can't see. It's waving madly, but I guess we have to stop. I, yeah. is, it, is it up to me <laughs> to stop that? Nods. I'm usually, I wait for somebody to, you know, pull me off the screen. No, no, I, I, I what is, saw What does Tom nods. say? I think we have to stop. Yes, we, okay. Yeah, I didn't want to yeah. go over and... Uh, More or less, yeah. we have to round up. So if yeah. if you have any uh, any suggestions for me, that would be lovely. Uh, okay. Um, just a couple of small small things. Uh, I would mean, keep it. Uh, you know, when you get to then, I would keep this just uh, soft and without a lot of you know action. You know. You know, as opposed to, you know, sort of trying uh -huh. to shape it. I think the point is, yum, yum, you know, just that that incredible, you know, spiccato, yum, yum, you know, uh, it seemed like you were you were doing things uh, in the sixteenth, maybe that they should just be more more even. Yeah. Um, I would avoid um, twice. Uh, you know, that was a little maybe on the flowery side, but then twice, twice the same. Yeah, you know, okay. then we they said no, we draw the line there. You, you know, you, maybe once you or a lighter. Uh, you know, that strikes me as a. Not a heavy expressive place, but you know, mm -hmm. more perfume rather than yeah. passion, right? So uh, uh, that might be something to think of. The second theme: make sure you start that. Uh, that's where you want to show, you know, full sound bow into the string. So make sure you're really sorry. Get rid of, but. Uh, <laughs> In the string, go. you know, really. I know it's only piano, but I think you want rich singing sound. Everybody's waiting yeah. for the second theme. You know, you you want to pay out. You know, give them <laughs> give them their money's worth. <laughs> no, it's it's just a beautiful moment. Yeah, uh, and the qual you want the quality of the, the cello. It's the perfect register of the cello warmth beauty so sink sink into the string mm -hmm. a bit a bit more i would say yeah bravo clause it's really great uh, to hear you play it's you're doing yeah. excellent uh, excellent playing it's been a pleasure thank you very For much me too. i hope to see you somewhere in the world i hope so maybe <laughs> next year we'll we'll come next year in riga <laughs> yeah. thank you yeah bye. my pleasure bye bye